Good evening, boys. Welcome to this very special edition of the Room Report. We'll be covering the transfer window. Uh, what happened during the transfer, or what didn't happen, it was mostly the case with the big teams involved. Um, <clears throat> work straight into it. We'll cover some Manchester United now. Get it out of the way. Not happy. Not happy at all. Some good signings at the start. Dormian and Sky Snyder, Schneiderlin. But, uh, Someone mentioned the other day we'd fucking centre back at least one and possibly another striker. I know Marshall will come in, but you know, we need a proven striker. I know they're few and far between, um, but a lot of money for an unproven chap, not capped at international level. Not what I wanted to see. Uh, I spoke to a few chaps, United fans as well. Not, no, not happy really. Uh, he's had two years, two two uh, transfer windows now to, to impress me. Or fuck all, impress him. Uh, obviously, Moyes' transfer window didn't get down too well. The famous saying from Mr. Andy Tate, a monkey in a suit can do a better job. Well, it's starting to look that way for Louis Van Hall, especially whose transfer dealings with Edward Wood involved. Fucking idiot, dude. Uh, I've got a couple of questions being thrown at me. Um, obviously, that was covering the first one about the United's chance to win the dealings. The second one is what I think of the uh, David De Gea situation. Uh, I'm glad he's staying. Well, okay. But to lose him on a three next season is, is disheartening. He just needs to get his head back in gear, focus, get him playing, number one. The other two keepers you've got in the squad. Ain't nowhere near him, standard wise. Get his head back, get him playing, happy days. We'll have another year out of him, and then he can go next season. He's on his contract in that respect. Can't fault the lad. You know, go back home, play there, happy days. Uh, a bit of a cock up, one of the biggest cock ups I've ever known, really. Transfer window. It just sums up our transfer window, though, to be fair. Who do you believe? I mean, I've obviously United sent it over plenty of time, but Fergie, Alex, so Alex Ferguson, uh, did say many years ago, won't sell them a virus. Well, come back to fight them on the last Real uh, Madrid. It looks like the virus has been sent to them. <laughs> so, thirdly, what is the realistic position for this season in the Premier League? Well, we, top two, although I can't see it happening now, but at the start of the season, we always, as a United fan, we strive for the best. Uh, if you're not first, you last. It's my motto. That's what uh, Sir Bobby Charlton has instilled in the, uh, in the club and the infrastructure over the years, and what's down to Ferguson and Moisey. Uh, Realistically, now you've got the top four again, really. City look strong, you know. Looking good, well. Aguero, not doing well for my dream team, but he's all, you know, he's, he'll come good, he will. Yeah, imagine he is. <sighs> yeah, so it's top four again, but I don't want to be fourth. Don't want to be messing around with this qualified, you know, as soon as the season starts, if you want to be third, avoid all that bollocks. We could get a tricky one. We got lucky with Bruges. The pub side could have beat them. Don't you know? Don't get that twisted a little bit. We, the pub side could have fucking scored ten away at their place last week. Bloody hell! Number fourth, number fourth question coming in. How do you think we have started the season? And that's from Paul up in Salford Keys. Well, Paul. Covered it and a little bit here. I still think we're short at the back defensively, although to be fair, we, we don't look too bad defensively this season. Small in just get one big plus of Louis Van Hoek is small in. Okay? He's found his feet a little bit yet as he's maturing, got his head back, you know, got his head where he wants to be. So I'm shaking the sofa. Let me just move it up a tad. There we go, you can see you at it now, I can't you? Right here. So defensively we've started so hard, we're just not creating enough poor mate. We're uh, it's all right, Villa 5 really. Excuse me. 
service wise not so good not creative enough in the middle that's what's frustrating it's it's all hard having these flair players you know your matter and herrera although he seems to have fallen out of herrera a little bit but that's, that's this manager's thing isn't it if you do one thing wrong you don't fucking play again or you know you've got to do something to come back into the squad similar to marcus rojo actually somewhere there's something there my source is telling me that there's a bit more to that than meets the eye but uh, we won't go into that now, that'll be for another room before that. <coughs> well, that's it for the questions. Um, I'll briefly summarise <coughs> the other top three teams from last season. Obviously, last year's top four. Chelsea started off very, very good. They'll come good. But don't buy all this third season bollocks from me. They'll come good. Obviously, Hazard ain't started very well. Costa looks like he's got lead boots on. Um, but he, you know, the way he plays, isn't it? Really, he'll come good. Fabregas again, he'll pull the strings soon. Not worried for Chelsea. I mean, I wish he'll pop off, but it'll be all right. Man City, fucking ass on fire. Who can stop him? Yeah. I'm not so sure anybody can this turn. I think they'll, uh, they'll win it. I mean, they certainly But <laughs> who can stop him in this form? Aguero, Sterling, look, look pretty good at the minute as well. Snippet, you know. Ah. And Arsenal. Um, I've already started them, bastard. <sighs> One or two more players. I wouldn't say they're going to win the league, but they'll have a better shot. Checks come in, made a big difference already for me. Bar in the West Ham game there. He's fell about like an idiot, but other than that, he'll be. Will prove his worth over the 38 games. Uh, I still think, I mean, you lot have me for this, but Murphy Sackett's not for me. Not for me. I know his, his record's not so bad, but I just don't like the look of him, to be honest. It's probably an aesthetic thing rather than a practical thing. Um, you know, defensive mid strikers have been crying out for years, haven't they, Arsenal for them? But Wenger seems to be stubborn, stubborn old bastard. He always has been. On a, although recent years he's gone to cash, but he's still kind of one or two shorts. Uh, here's all the boys as well, a couple of them. Quick thing I want to say about him, fair play, I want him to do well. Got a little feeling towards him, spent a lot of money, 20 mil, giving it that bloke, right? He's, I don't know, I'm not sure he's cut out for a league in the uh, head coach job, sorry. Uh, 20 mil, fuck me, you don't get promoted, you'll be. Could be the next Leeds United or Coventry City, you know. Anyway, boys, I've got to go. I've got a few things to do before tomorrow, so I hope you enjoyed the room report after the transfer window. Take it easy. Catch you soon. Ta da.